Rushing back in, the hopway treat Father June's bullet wound. They give him medicine and take out the bullet. Asking to be alone, all the people leave them alone. Thanking them for the help, Ah Song turns back. Connor and his brother Gary steal from a Chinese grocery. They manage to escape but are arrested by cops. Outside of Chinatown, Bill goes to his new job, assuming he will be working in the books. He finds out that he has to start from the bottom of the food chain moving concrete. They don't want to discourage the workers and give the family an unfair advantage. An Irishman comes to ask for help, begging Dan to get them out of jail because they just trying to feed them themselves. Dan agrees to help. Ah Toy gets ready, but she is interrupted by debt collector Ming Yu. They are there to collect the women from the brothel. Explaining that they are trespassing on Hopway's territory, she slashes him, and Lai kicks him onto a table that breaks his fall. Walter meets with Dan and Douglas. They offer him a chance at winning the campaign. They have something that he doesn't. Stepping to leave, Walter is stopped. Explaining that Douglas took it as a liberty to talk to Franklin, he is having second thoughts about becoming mayor. They will hand him the mayor title, but he has to make sure their values always align. Walking back to his bar, Happy Jack smokes. Mocking Abigail for mourning so long for Richard, bringing out the expensive stuff for a cop. Messing with him was only gonna end up with them dead or him. He had to end things, but Richard walks back in. Wong walks in with a revolver, taunting what he will do. Abigail shoots him. Wong gives the finishing blow peering at his corpse. Sleeping with Yen, he explains the situation, but he regrets getting involved because Father Jun got shot. Jun wouldn't believe that the kid's death was worth his father's. Arguing the point that he did what was right, Yen explains that in the riot when Long Zi and Hopway combined to fight against the Irish, they did the right thing and worked together as Chinese vs. Irish. Yen reveals that after her father dies she will leave the shop and find a future. If she has to do Jun's dirty work as a counterfeit printer she will, showing him the money she stole from the counterfeit business. Ah worries that if June finds out he won't be able to protect her, making her promise to not steal any more money. Father June starts going crazy. June finds him screaming at the wall, talking about how Hopway is going to fall. Calming his mind, he lays him down to rest, worrying at what the damage of the bullet did to Father June's mind. Storming into the precinct, Dan asks for Bill. Stone tells him that he quit telling him to ask the new chief about why he quit. Going to talk to the new police chief, but he is hesitant, telling him to come back with an appointment, but he stays to plead his case. Connor and Gary were just trying to feed their families, and that they stole from Chinese business owners so it shouldn't matter in the eyes of the law. He continues signing documents ignoring him, stopping to look at the case file, breaking, also assaulting a police officer. The law is unbreakable and stagnant, it doesn't change for whom or when. The the previous police chief would have saw differently, turning a blind eye to drunken Irishman. But he doesn't. Questioning if he wants to play it. He knows he isn't Irish, but an American. Struggling to shovel gravel. Bill hates the job and lags behind the crew. Talking to his employer, he aspires to do better the next day. Ah, some helps Yen print. But when people aren't looking they sneak off to kiss. Interrupted by Mai. She wants to talk to Ah alone. Apologizing and leaving, Mai mocks her excellent manners. She informs him that Lee Young and her are engaged. Congratulating them. She invites him to go to their wedding. Ah assumes it's because they're in business, but she insists that it is because they are related through blood, beyond all their bickering on the streets. Reluctant, he agrees. She happily walks off, telling him to bring his friend Yen. Walking around the town, Hong buys roasted chestnuts for Marcel to try. Finding out that he is only gonna be in town for a few more weeks, he has been offered a residency. When he sneaks off, cursing at the world, Bill hates his new job. He is sore all over. Lucy comes to help fill the bath, saying that she will ask Maggie to speed up the process of promoting him. They exchange some sexual language that surprises Bill. A drunk man stumbles to the side of a wall, unzipping his trousers to take a leak. When Zimmo the son from the store that got robbed approaches him, pressing him up against the wood, they throw him to the ground and start kicking him. Revenge for the Irish stealing from their store. Staying up late, Abigail was worried about where he went. 
but now he is back. They are only safe within the bar. Abigail talks about her ex-husband's death. Happy Jack was always self-serving, but his brother Wesley was an honest man. He had a job at the docks that didn't pay much, but it was good honest work. He only cared about being truthful and the job was. One night he was returning home when he ran into some white boys. For against one, they were all bloody. When the cops came, Wesley tried to tell them the truth, but they saw his skin and assumed he was the suspect. When they tried to arrest him, he resisted, and they shot him. Being good only got her husband dead. She accepted when Happy Jack asked to work for him because she had to survive in a crooked world. Arriving at work early, Yen is interrupted by June explaining that he wants her to teach his men how to print like her. The delicate process could take months to learn because it is precise and accurate. Forcing her to oblige, he threatens her. By saying that if something happened, who would make his sweet money? Agent Mosley arrives at the bar, surprised Richard is back. Handing in his badge, he doesn't want to work for the Secret Service anymore. His family has given up the search so he won't need any more protection. Getting straight to the point, Mosley tells him that his murder charge doesn't disappear until he says so, and that is when he gets the counterfeit plates in his hands, handing him back the Secret Service badge. Meeting with Ming and Ah to resolve the issue, Ming is under Mai's protection. Because Ah Toy won't be giving back the woman, she compensates him with money, saying it is an insult. He stands up to confront her, forcing him to sit and take the money. Li Yong escorts him out for wasting their time. She invites Ah Toy to their wedding. June searches for his father June, finding out he is missing from his room. Informed that he went out, stressed, he sends men off to search for him. Dan comes back to the pub to find the Irish men are starting a rally to beat the Chinese for jumping them. Breaking a chair to get their attention, he explains that he has done everything for them to get jobs and feed their families. If they go out and fight the Chinese, they will die and their families will starve. If not, get locked in prison where he can't help. In several weeks, Mayor Walter will be elected and he will out outlaw Chinese labor, meaning hundreds of jobs will come their way and they just need to wait. He leaves to go deal with the Chinese. Spotting the poster of Ah Song on the day of the riot, Ah Song meets with Dan, surprised he came into Chinatown. They agree to a treaty. Dan will stop the Irish from going into Chinatown if he stops the Chinese from going into the pond, making sure to save their people from death. Ah tells Hong to send out the word that if anyone enters the pond, they have to answer him. In Long Zi territory, Father June has gone crazy, with a sword he wants to fight Long Zi. But the troops go outside to mock him and laugh at him. Li Yong stops them. Them, forcing them back inside. He helps Father June. June is stressed because they couldn't find him. In the distance, he spots Father June and Li Yong. He has lost his memory and doesn't recognize June, but they get him inside. Handing back his coat, he regretfully thanks him. Ah goes into the bar to beat Zimmo for almost starting a war, kicking him out and telling him to go through him the next time he goes into the pond. Douglas takes a carriage to his house, but Lai stalks him from the bushes. Walter sits at his desk. Franklin is angry because he is forced to drop out of the race. Even though he was doing better than Walter, he is getting blackmailed by Douglas because his daughter dated a housekeeper. To keep it under wraps, he has to relinquish the position. He explains that even though he is forced to drop out, Walter needs pity. He stops the conversation and invites him to go home and spend some time with his family. Going home, Catherine finds out he won. They start making out and he rips open her shirt. Annoyed, June drinks alone. Worried, Hong asks to talk about it. Father June is losing his mind because Ah Song chose to play hero. They have a deal with my Ling because of Ah Song. The connection is that Ah Song is the problem. He knows that once the deal blows up, he needs loyal soldiers. He is losing trust in Ah Song, not sure that he will dice or die for him. Thank you for watching. I post new videos every day.